So a common question that I get about notifications is how can I make the, my list of notifications link to the relevant, uh, you know, action that was taken uh, for that notification, right? So if I get sent a notification that someone commented on my post or sent me something or followed me, um, when I click on that, I want to be taken to that comment, to that person's profile. Um, and while we can't do a whole lot of super deep linking, um, like you would see in most apps uh, in Adalo, we can get pretty close. Um, so I'm going to show you a quick tip on how to do that. Um, so it's important to note that it's really helpful to know how data is passed from screen to screen. Before you start doing this, I have a, a three video series on how uh, you know data is passed and different mistakes that can be made there. Um, this has quite a bit to do with that actually. Um, so when we click on a notification, um, we want to be taken to this person's uh, or to a post. Maybe let's say that we've got you know a, a post that someone commented on, right? So here I've got you know uh, this button here is creating the notification, you know, telling them, okay, hey, so and so commented on your post. Um, we're going to then uh, you know trigger the notification here. Um, to actually send the the native push notification to them, right? And this create action here is going to create um, a notification that will then you know appear here in this person's uh, activity list, right? So um, if they click on this and it sends them to this particular post, um, if we just link them there from there, there's not going to be any any data associated with what post it should display. Right, because in our database, all we have here is just the content currently and who triggered the notification. So what I really need to do here is create another property here. First of all, uh, another relationship to the users collection, and this is going to be you know not who triggered the use the the notification, but who the receiver of that notification is. So I'm going to click this first one here and then click done, and I'm going to call this one receiving user, all right? And I'm gonna add another property here, um, another relationship property here to the posts, right? So if I want to notify somebody about a comment, um, a comment is attached to a post, right? Um, and so I want to notify them about what post it was that that person commented on. So I'm gonna create a relationship between posts um, obviously, a post can have multiple notifications about it, just like it can have multiple comments, but it really can't, uh, that notification can't belong to multiple posts. So I'm going to choose this first one here again. And I like to name this something like relevant post. And the last one here, I'm going to add a text property called um, notification type. All right, and this is what we're going to use to determine what this list should do when a person clicks on a notification, right? Um, if it's a comment on a post, I don't want it to send them to the user's profile because that's kind of irrelevant. Um, and I can use the notification type property to uh, send people to different screens based on you know what that notification uh, is about. So I'll click Save on that one. And the next thing that I want to do is I could go ahead and just, you know, click on this, this list here and go down here and put, okay, well, I want you to link to the post view screen if it's a post, right? Um, and that's fine, um, but it's not going to display any data. Um, again, because it doesn't know all of these, uh, all of these, you know, pieces of data in here are the current post, right? It'd be like clicking on uh, you know, a post from this list and being sent here, right? And you can see this if you click on the, the entire screen and scroll down to available data. You can see that right here I have current post, right? Which is just one, one step of data away from this list here or this list or this list, right? Because if a user clicks on any of these, these are posts. This is a list of posts. This is a list of posts. This is a list of posts. 
So when it's displaying the data on the screen, it's just displaying whatever post they clicked on, right? The, uh, the bad thing is that I, have, I don't have a list of posts here. I have a list of notifications. So if I click you know, link to view post screen, it's going to also send the current notifications data, right? Um, the current, uh, let's see here. Let me make sure. Yeah, notifications. Uh, post view, let me make sure that's, yeah, that is right. Okay, so you can see here on this, on this one right here, it is sending the current notification data to that screen, right? Um, and so we have some of that data here, but we don't have information about the notification, which you can see right here. So we've got the current user, current post, all that good stuff, but we don't have information about that notification. So it's not going to be able to display, uh, you know, that notifications posts picture or the posts comments that are related to that notification. So what does that mean? That's really complicated. And basically what we need to do is we need to create a duplicate of this screen for just the notifications list here, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here and create a copy of this entire screen, right? And I like to call this something like notification post view. So I know that it's different from just viewing a regular post, right? Now, the, the interesting part here is that um, we've still got some, you know, uh, linking to different places. Like if you click on this person's username, it links to their profile. It, that's fine, right? We can leave things like that alone. But what I want to do and what you'll see is when I list this or when I link this notification list to this new notification post view screen, you'll see that the flow of data has changed. I no longer have any information on this notification post view about a post at all. All I have here is just the current notifications information. So what I need to do is I need to go in here and change all of the linked data on the screen to uh, reflect that, all right? So the username in this case, right, this is gonna be different, right? This is not the current post's user's username. This is now something completely different. This is now the current notifications, uh, you know, posts, relevant posts, creators, um, username, right? Uh, let's see, where is it? Posting users, username, right? So our flow has changed drastically. We're no longer just the current posts creating user. We're now the current notifications relevant posts creating users, username, all right? And that has to be true for all of these different things here. Again, this is not the current posts users profile pick. This is now the current notifications relevant posts, uh, posting users profile pick, right? So we just added this massive layer of data um, onto this, right? Same thing with current post image. It's not that, it's the current notifications relevant posts image, right? So we're going through, we're, we're going through the notifications collection to get this data about this post, right? Whereas with this other one over here, we're just looking at just the posts collection, right? We're just pulling directly from this collection. Um, and so that's kind of what has to happen. Um, anytime we want to display, um, you know, data from this. Now, uh, the other part of this is that I really only want to link to this notification post view screen if the, you know, I'm going to add some conditional actions here and say this is only going to happen if, you know, the current notifications notification type is equal to uh, post, right, or something like that, uh, or comment, right, even. Um, so, um, and that value, that notification type, you'll want to set that down here when this uh, comment is actually created or when this notification is created. So down here I've got, you know, the receiving user is the, 
is going to be the current post posting user. The relevant post is, of course, the one that I'm looking at. And the notification type, um, again, you can make this whatever you want. It just needs to match here and up there, right? So that you can validate what it should do. All right, so um, now we've got it kind of a setup so that uh, if they click on a notification, uh, it's going to send them to this new screen that we have here, but it's only gonna do that if the notification type is you know, a comment, a post, things like that. So um, I hope that's helpful. Uh, just make sure that you do that for each type of notification that you want to, to send them to, right? You would do kind of the same process here for a user profile if someone follows them. Um, it's just instead of doing, you know, posts and notifications, you would say, okay, who's the relevant user, right? And you would create another relationship between the user and notifications. Um, so I hope that that's helpful for you. Uh, it's a little bit confusing there, but that's really the best easiest, most straightforward way to do it. Um, just make sure that you change all the data on this screen once you create the duplicate.